Every city has a story. Here in Charleston, our story spans several centuries. It's a narrative designed by many voices, both young and old. Our musicians and artists hold the special responsibility of translating the soundscape and the color of our city into something new. Charlestown Sounds was founded on this notion of creating new history. In this series, we will be exploring the foundation of Charleston by doing on-site interviews at locations that hold historical significance. We'll be interviewing local artists who will then be challenged to create something new, uh, to create a new song, to create a new sound uh, within one week leading up to each interview. The song and the interview together will be our way of creating new history. First up in the series is local pianist Noah Jones. I'm here with Noah Jones, uh, the, no, what, the pianist of Charleston <laughs> last year. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was very blessed enough to have enough people to support me and Voting me, Charleston City Papers Pianist of the Year, wow. which I'm very thankful for. Um, just blessed beyond words. Yeah, you deserve it, man. Um, <laughs> so we're, we're here to talk about music, but we're also here to talk about history. Absolutely. So we are walking up Unity Alley here in downtown Charleston, South Carolina. And we're walking to the old slave market mm -hmm. uh, that was established in 1859, just before the Civil War, and uh, many slaves were sold on auction uh, at this location we're walking to. Um, so why do we need to uh, visit this location? Why, why should we be talking about this slave market today? Well, I truly believe that understanding history is so imperative because if we don't, then like Martin Luther King Jr. said, we're, we'll, we will be doomed to repeat it. And there are plenty of cases in history that I'm sure we would not like to revisit right. in our own time. But uh, I just believe the significance of this market is one worth talking about. Um, as an African American, it's, it's very real and, and likely, especially being from Charleston, that I very well might have had ancestors that went through that market as slaves. And that's a, as Charleston, 40% of, of African Americans across the country can likely say <laughs> that they had their ancestors come through that very market. Um, yeah. And it's just so imperative that we understand this. And as a musician and as an artist, I believe that expressing these thoughts and, and these ideas and discussions through music is it's a great medium and it's a great way to start a dialogue of understanding, um, which, you, which you have given me the opportunity to do. Uh, within this week, I've been prompted to write about the slave market. And it's been a challenge, I must say, but one that I'm very proud of and, and I'm thankful for, to have had the opportunity to do. All right. Yeah, like you mentioned, it's, it's important we talk about this. I, I, I strongly believe that too. Um, and uh, we're in a position now to create new history, yes. you could say, you know, uh, to, to make our mark on this spot. And also, uh, you know, today, February 13th, 2018, we're, we're here mm -hmm. to, to say that um, we stand for unity, you know. Um, so there are lots of significant locations uh, here in Charleston relating to the history of mm -hmm. African Americans. So why did you choose this 
spot in particular? Right. Uh, well, being a Charlestonian, being born and raised here, um, always having the ability to go downtown, see the historical sites, uh, it was kind of hard to pick a certain location. But I, I sat down and thought about it. I Recently, it's just been baffling to me how tensions have been rising in our country for various political, social reasons, but nonetheless, there's still tension. There's still this uneasiness about race in America. And I think that, that happens to be because of a lack of understanding each other's history and how it has affected us today. Mm. Historically, it's just been a, a tragic one uh, in Ameri the African-American story. And it originates at that very building, the slave market, where you, you a human being, were sold like property. And that just, that spoke to me in a way no other location really did. And I'm just glad to have this opportunity, you know, to just shed some light, not only just historically, but creati create creatively, using one's own creativity to discuss the importance and significance of history such as the slave market, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, that's why we're here, man. We're here to shed light. Uh, so. Uh, before we hit the song, uh, tell us a little bit about that process and how you're going to uh, shed light on uh, this dark topic. Yeah, um, it's all about perspective. Uh, when I wrote this song, the, I thought about how can I tell a story for, for anyone to, to understand, for anyone to, to just hear and, and take some, something away from that, you know. Um, so I thought, okay, what if w just a regular old person were to see what went down at this very building, you know, people being sold, like property, how would a, a regular person from today's time, just how would they experience it, how would they feel, and how would they tell that what they saw? And then I switched the perspective to a more personal, personal one, um, this, the idea of this mother consoling her children uh, about what it is to be black and what it is to be black in America at that time, what it meant to be a slave, and how, how, to, how, how to educate your children to go through a life so hard. I mean, what a human moment that is for this mother to have to try to do this. And this is a very real moment. Many, many families had to go through this. Many families were torn apart because of selling and trading of slaves. And unfortunately, this, this mother has to break it down to them in this, in, this, in this way that they can understand and grow from. Um, but it's all about perspective, that's all. So what is the name of this song, this project? The song name is, is going to be called Worth. Uh, worth, meaning lots of different things, um, but all about the idea of one's self-worth. Um, how, do, how do we perceive ourselves? How do we, how do we allow people to perceive us? How, how much are you worth to yourself? And, and you just have to ask yourself that every once in a while, I believe. And, it's, and that, that's been something that's been thought since we've been here on this planet. And, um, and I don't believe that, that there was one African American slave that thought that they deserved to be in that position. That just because they were told that they were less, that they weren't equal, that they were as much as an animal, uh, I don't believe one second that one of them thought, oh well, I guess, I guess it's true because they say it's true. No, I mean, these people were smart, strong, intelligent people that weren't able to live up to the opportunities that they could have because of the fact that they were just owned. Um, but at the end of the day, every human being is worth 
the time spent on Earth. And I think this history expresses the fact that not everyone got to do that. But we can learn from that. And that's the beautiful thing about it. So I uh, hope you enjoy the song. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so you've had one week to write this song. And the song is a reflection of what has happened here at the old slave market in Charleston, South Carolina. So here is Worth.
the ball.